Hey, get out here to Orange City every Friday. We're uh, having uh, let's go Brandon rallies. <laughs> Screw that guy. Senile Biden. Dude don't know what he's doing. That's what happens when you let a bunch of lefties tell you what to do. They ruin everything. So anyways, because of that, we're going to have a red wave in 2022. No doubt about it. We're going to have a red wave, you think, in 2022? I think so. Yeah. It's already starting. Yeah. You know, some of it's already starting through some of the elections and all, you know. And I'll tell you who's one of the best. One of the best is that African-American lady, the one from Virginia, the lieutenant governor. Winston Sears. Yo, she is dynamite. Yeah. She is dynamite, you know. Yeah, yeah. Winston yeah. Sears. It's, it's uh, kind of letting us know yeah, what's right. going to happen in 2022. And Did you hear about them trying to put Hillary in? Who? As, a run, as someone to run in 2022? No. 2024? No. So the rumor is that they are going, they're trying to get Kamala out of there, uh -huh. right? So they take her out and put Hillary in her place as vice president and then Biden do the 25th down. Amendment on Biden oh, and, and then, Hillary steps in as president. And Hillary gets it by default? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but how, how how badly would that piss off the Americans? Oh my God. A lot. Right now, if they don't do anything wrong anymore, Republicans are going to take the House and the Senate. Yeah, we got and it. And in 2024, we're going to elect a Republican president. You know who that's going to be. Yeah. So yeah. they're gonna they're gonna leave the Democrats are doing such a bad job that Trump will be president and we'll have the House and the Senate and nobody can but stop you know, him. Trump, if Trump runs for the Senate, okay, he can run for the Senate two years. He can be Speaker of the House, they said. Right. And then oh, he can if turn he runs out. in twenty twenty two. Because I honestly don't think I personally don't think he's gonna run for president. If they put him in before because they find all this fraud, I think he Oh, but can't say that on YouTube. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't talk about the uh -oh. F word. Oh yeah. Fraud. I can't talk about the jibby jab or the woohoo flu. That's, that's it's an awful bullshit. I can't talk about the most important stuff that's wrecking your lives. A lot of because people YouTube code. won't let me. A lot of people have code words. If I don't toe the line and go along with what they're what they think is true, <laughs> then they'll get rid of me. Either that or I just don't talk about it. Yeah, it's bullshit. Oh, there she is. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got there? <laughs> what is it? Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> wrapping paper. It's, Let's go, Brandon. Let's wrapping go, Brandon. Paper. You got ten sheets in there. Uh, oh my gosh! I can't wait. I'm gonna send it to my sister and brother who are so liberal. I can't stand it. I know. I got. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy more presents just to, so I can use up all that wrapping That's paper. What I'm gonna do. I gotta give him another shout out. I'm this dude's selling uh, Let's Go Brandon wrapping paper. And if you wrap it up, it's gonna look like this. Here's, he's got full sheets. So you can order 10 sheets. See how big a sheet is? 10 sheets for $10 from this dude. Where is he? Yeah, all right, so how do they order that wrapping paper again? Fox2112 at live.com. Fox2112 at live.com. They email you. Yep, and PayPal. And then, my username is fox2112 at live.com. Yeah. Do it! Ten dollars. <laughs> Ten bucks. You can't beat it. Janice. Yes. Is a red wave coming? 2022? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No doubt about it? No doubt about it. You don't think Democrats are going to take the House and the Senate? Absolutely not. You don't think Joe Biden, uh, he's going to run again in 2024, he said? <laughs> he did say that. I think he'll try, but he ain't going far. He ain't going to live that long. No. Uh, so do you think uh, Red Wave is coming in 2022? Yes, I do believe that. Yeah. What about Joe Biden's possibilities of winning in 2024? Oh, my gosh. No possibility. Yeah. No. Just saying that makes me giggle. I know. No possibility. No. He's no. got full-blown dementia. What's I he going to be like in a few more years? I hope. I don't want to cuss, but I hope the hell that the Democrats woke up to who they voted for. They can't think, wake up. They're Democrats. I mean, That's a lot right. of them won't. They got tiny brains. 
<laughs> and it's a shame. A lot know? of them won't, but I think some will wake up. I think some already I have. Do, do, Independents will wake up. Yeah, Democrats they've. Won't. I think they've already woke up. What is it, 30 percent? Yeah, I really believe. Rating? If you're not a Republican by now and you're an Independent, you got tiny brain. Mm -hmm. But if you're a Democrat, you got super microscopic brain. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bottleneck. Uh, you think there's going to be a red wave come 2022? Oh yeah. 75 seats in the in the house, easy. Yeah, they already uh, lost clean up. Yeah, they already lost what 15, 10 or something like that. Yeah. And in the Senate, we might take it. We need one seat. And I figure, how many are running? Six or seven? We yeah. got them. So we're gonna take the House and the Senate without uh, rhinos. They're gone too. So um, we do that. Um, oh, what running. if Biden wins in 2024? He's gonna run again. He said. He'll be dead. <laughs> He'll be dead. Camilla, they're trying to hide. Get rid of her. Yeah. They know Nancy's solution. Maybe they'll bring Hillary back. <laughs> no, Pelosi's solution? Hmm. Put her on the Supreme Court. Yeah. Camilla. So do you, is that really a good look for Biden? Um, he's got the first black female vice president, and then he gets rid of her? Oh, yeah. I don't know. If, that's how much they care about black people. I don't know if that's going uh, to jive well with the lefties. But she's not even black. Yeah. So I think the next election, the Democrats are going to push some kind of black transvestite. Maybe they'll put up Maxine Waters. <laughs> we got to check all the boxes all at once. So do you think we're going to you think we're going to have a red wave in 2022? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't imagine what Miss Dr. Jill Biden is thinking. <laughs> Who is going to protect her husband? When? Health-wise. Health-wise. I, I don't think he, I think his health's already out the window. He's got dementia. Yeah. So, but that's not going to stop him from running in 2024, according to him. If, if he makes it that far. Yeah. You think you think Biden's going to run in 2024? He I said he I is. Don't I don't so. know. I don't think he's going to make it. I don't know. Yeah. He won't make it that long. How high is inflation going to be in three years oh when gosh. he gets out of there? It's terrible now. They're telling us it's only 5% inflation. Oh, yeah? Well, why is my grocery bill double? Yeah, right. Why is my gas my bill gasoline. double? It feels like it's 50% inflation. Yeah. <laughs> At least. Doesn't yes. it? Turn White supremacists. Oh, yeah, yeah. They called you white supremacists? Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> no, you guys are white supremacists. Oh, According oh. to the triggered weirdo that drove by. <laughs> <laughs> Dummies. What's up, Michelle? Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Hey, are they gonna overturn Roe versus Wade? Well, we'll have to wait and see. I don't put a whole lot of hope in the Supreme Court. What I, I think what they're aiming for is to give states the rights to do to rule themselves on that right, issue. Right, that's exactly what will happen. Which will so, save a lot of babies, but it ain't gonna stop, it ain't gonna outlaw it. Well, exactly, because you will, it'll be like it was before 1973. You're gonna have some states where you can have abortions up to the moment of delivery. Wow. And there will be states like Alabama who already has in place a personhood mm. uh, amendment to their constitution. So as soon as it happens, that state is going to be a free state yeah. for the unborn. Here in Florida, different story. We've got the privacy clause mm. that is, is in our uh, Florida state constitution. So there'll be, there'll be probably half the states out there that ban it? Yes. And, and then, in California, we'll probably be able to have late-term abortions. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and Minnesota, they that's going to be a major hub. They can make up their own rules, I guess. Right, right. So the only way that we're ever going to see real hope for the unborn being free yeah. is by declaring them persons. Mm -hmm. I and mean, they, they are people. They are they're not, people. They're not a clump of cells. They're not a clump of it's cells. It's not the woman's body. It's no. It's the baby's body in a woman's that's body. That's right. That's right. When I was pregnant, it was not a clump of cells <laughs> kicking no. me in the ribs. Mm -mm. So, but I have hope. I really have hope. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing for the Supreme Court to be, to, I mean, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to have to work in Florida, though. Yeah. So. On, on another subject, um, Joe Biden said he's going to run again in 2024. <laughs> Brenda? Yes. Is there a red wave coming in 2022? Oh, yeah. There's this big, huge wave of red going to wipe out the blue. Yeah. Just going to cover all that blue and just push it away. So, so in 2022, the Republicans are going to have the House and the Senate. Yeah. And, and I hope they use it and investigate the shit out of Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. 
not only that, but there's talk about electing Trump as Speaker of the House, impeaching the other two, and putting him back in office, mm. and he can still run in 2020. Yeah, two can play that game. They impeached Trump twice. Uh, the second time, he wasn't even in office. But the Senate wouldn't go for it. Well, well if we real, yeah, if, if we take now. over and we're playing the same games, we can we can impeach Biden and Harris. The con Congress or uh, the, the House will pass that off to the Senate. They'll okay it, and they're gone. gone. And, and then, then we put in president. whoever's in charge of the House, Just which could win. be Trump. Just in the win. Yeah. You guys want to play like, I wish the Republicans played like scoundrels. Yes. You know I what mean, I mean? Like the Democrats do. Stand up. Because you, you can't you can't win uh, when you're abiding by the rules and you're playing against a scoundrel. You're never going to win. That's right. That's right. And we can't get them to, to play fair, so we got to get dirty. Yeah, we got to stand up for what's right. Yeah. We got to stand up and not back down. Yeah, we got to fight with all of our heart no matter That's what right. it takes to do That's the right, right thing. That's right. And there are people running, and hopefully they'll get into office yeah. that are willing to fight yeah. and stand up for our Constitution yeah. and do what's right. Yeah. Yeah, we need people who are going to fight as hard to save our country as the Democrats are fighting uh, to destroy our country. And turn it into Venezuela. They're working yeah. real hard and real fast. Yeah. Real fast. Yep. Yeah, we don't have time to just goof around forever. We don't have it until 2024. Have, no. 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 But did you hear that New York has got a bill going through to allow illegals to vote? Yeah. That's, That's not even constitutional. Does it even say in the Constitution that you have to be a citizen to vote? Because if it doesn't, why would they skip that part? Right, right. It's, I'm sure it says that, right? Right. And, you know, it's just amazing, too, that you have to show in these states, these these communist states, that you have to show your ID with your vaccine card. Isn't that... That's racist, That's I thought. so racist, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> They are what they say we are. Yeah. If Democrats are anything, they're hypocrites. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get your butts out here and wave flags with us. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. So hey, is a wet, red wave coming? You think? The red wave. Yeah. In 2022. The midterms. You think uh, we're gonna? What? You think the Republicans are gonna take the House yes. and the Senate? Yes. Yes. Yeah. The red wave is coming. Yes. Not a blue wave. I'm scared to say anything because you never know what's going to happen. You don't want to say anything because you're afraid he might jinx it? There you go. <laughs> so tell the people of Palatka to get their butts out here. I'm trying. Don't uh, they wave flags in Palatka? We need to start doing it. You used to wave flags in Palatka? Yes. I don't know what happened. So you came all the way over here from Palatka because no one's waving flags in Palatka? I did. I came all the way down here you're to wave man. flags with you because I can't seem to get anybody in Palatka to to go out and wave flags. Well, they're conservatives. Yes, if, uh, I mean, you if there was a lefty movement, you look, better believe there'd be hundreds of them out there. Look, if they're not have, getting what they want, they will come out and try to cancel everybody, but. You came down here and supported our cause. Yeah, I've been down there a few times in Pleca. Yes, mm -hmm. you've been there to support our cause, and we need to show you yeah. that we're supporting your cause. Palaka, get over here to Orange City on Fridays. Come on. We need you. Yeah. Hey man, is a red wave coming, you think, in 2022? A tidal wave. We have a tidal wave, a tsunami. Uh, uh, yeah. A tsunami. yeah. We're going to take the House and the Senate? Yes. Uh, Tr Trump's going to be the Speaker of the House. He's going to, uh, uh, what do you call it, impeach uh, K Kamala and, and Biden, and he's going to become the president By before default. 2024. Yeah. These people like Biden. They think he's doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell they won't look at us. <laughs> Let's go, they like high gas prices. <laughs> Let's they go, love Brad. inflation. Actually, yeah. And open borders. Open borders. Yeah. It's That's a Democrat terrible. utopia. So we to... if we take the House and the Senate, what good's that gonna do? Because Biden's gonna run in 2024. If, if, <laughs> if he's still breathing. <laughs> I don't want to break this news to you. Oh no. Should I be sitting down? Maybe. Joe Biden, Joe Biden said he's going to run in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> if he's even walking. Do it! <laughs> I'd love to see it. We only got three more years of uh, Bill Back Butter. The sooner he gets
gets back into his basement, the better we'll be, though. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. We liked him better when he stayed in the basement. Yeah. A red wave is definitely coming. 2022. Anyways, get out here and wave flag with us. Let's, let's go Brandon rallies out here every Friday in Orange City. And every Tuesday in Castleberry. At the end of my videos, I post my schedule. So get out here. What are you waiting for?